Hello Tehila, this is Richie doing one of his final tutorials for you all. I've saved one of the best ones for last ones. Um, today we're going to be learning about how to uh, add a new song to the Planning Center song database if it's not already there. So let's say it's July 10th and uh, we're going to add this song, we're going to add a new song. So on July 10th, I believe it's Nadine leading. Yep, there we go, Nadine. And I know that she really likes a song called Still. And let's say that she wants to add that song to this week. First of all, let's check and see if it's in the song database. And we do that by clicking Songs. Here is our song database. So we can see it's building up nicely. Uh, we had like four songs a few weeks ago, but let's look for Still. Okay, Sanctuary. See him coming. Oh, we do not have still. All right. Okay. So we're going to have to add still. So I'm going to go back to my plan, which was July 10th. And I'm going to add it from here. You can add it from other places, but I'm going to add it from here. So the first thing I'm going to do is click add a song. And here, as it showed you, you can search for still but it's not here. So the, these are the songs in our database. So I'm going to click Add a New Song. And I'm going to type in Still. Now if you wait a second, uh, all these different versions of Still will appear here and you can pick the right one. Ah, uh, here it is. It's actually by Ruben Morgan, so this is the correct one. We'll click this one, Still. This is a chorus choose the type that it is. Uh, we're going to call this the default arrangement. We'll just give it a generic, we'll say it's about five minutes long. Uh, let's choose the speed. I think it's slow. And let's choose the style. It's a more contemporary song. The starting key, you may not know this, but the starting key is actually in C. And if you actually choose the song from up here correctly, when it gives you those song titles, it'll pick the correct starting key for you. Now usually the correct key is in the key of some intensely high voice tenor male uh, worship leader. So sometimes it's not always the best key, but at least it gives you a starting point. So here we are. And this is where we're going to click uh, Accept. OK, and here we have still has been added to the song database and here it is in our plan. However, if I click the blue arrow, uh, yeah, there are no attachments to it whatsoever. That means there's no music, there's no chords, and there's no video attached to it. So those are the things that the team needs to function each week. So let's figure out how we're going to add chords to this. There are two ways to add music to this song. The first way is to simply attach one of the chord sheets that Richie has made over the last six years of his being at Tehila. And you can find all of the chord sheets in one zip file down at the bottom of this plan. It's already attached. So let's click this and see. This is a zip file and a zip file is basically one file that contains many many files inside. So this should be in my downloads folder and wherever whatever computer you use uh, it should be in the folder where most of your downloads go to. So let's open this folder. And here it is. Let me just view this differently. FCC songs, all chords. Okay. Now if I open this file, I'm going to double click it. It will unzip it. And if I open the folder by clicking this triangle, then it shows me two things in here. Number one, there's FCC songs, the chords, and this is a song list file. It just shows the names of all the songs that are in our database. But this actually has all of the songs themselves, the chords for every song. So for instance, if I click this blue triangle again, you are in song heaven. Okay, so this is all of FCC chords that Richie has typed out over six years. Look at that. Amazing. If you scroll down, we should be able to find still. And here it is, still, in the key of C. 
So now that we've located still, I'm going to go back to Planning Center and I just want to attach this file to still in the Planning Center. So to do that, I hover over here and I click this note icon and that will take me to the songs page in the song database. So let's click that. So here we are in the default arrangement of the song still inside the song database. And what we want to do is add Richie's chord sheet as an attachment to this page so that people can download that chord sheet uh, when they log on to the planning center. So the way to do that is simple. First of all, we click add an attachment here on the left side. and then we click add files to upload okay so it was in my downloads folder and I believe it was inside of here and then inside here and so yeah wherever it is on your computer that you downloaded this file you would just search for it there and when you find it still and you click open okay and so there it is let's click start file upload And there you go. So if you click this, you can either attach it to the arrangement as a whole, but we're going to attach it to the key of C within this arrangement because the chord sheet is in the key of C. So we'll click that. Okay, now whatever key I've written the song in is the key that you should attach it to. If it's in the key of A, put it in the key of A, G, G, you know, you can figure that out. Okay, accept. And here we have it on the site. Still has appeared. And so now, if we, let's just for a moment, we're going to drop back into our plans view. And if we expand still, and lo and behold, we have this still document right here. If I click this, and it's going to download, and let's check my downloads folder. Uh, here it is, and there it is, still has been downloaded. Okay, so that's one way of adding chords and music to songs on the Planning Center. I am now going to show you a second way to do it. Okay. And this way is a little bit more complicated, but it will work well for songs that Richie has not yet had a chance to create a chord sheet for. First of all, let's click on this note again to go back to the song page for Still in the song database. And if you go back here, you'll see that there are two sections here. The first section is where we uploaded our attachment, and it's in the Files section. These are really external documents, which you just kind of attach onto the song file. Okay, but up here, you'll see another section called, called Lyrics and Chords, and that was Thunder. You'll see Lyrics and Chords, boom! Amazing, yes. And this is a section where you can actually input chords and music and lyrics directly into the Planning Center online itself. And so what we're going to do is to find some lyrics of Still and find some music of the song Still online and we're going to copy and paste them into here. So for instance, if you we, don't, we haven't copied them yet, but if we click here, Edit Lyrics and Chords, it gives us this, this wonderful space where you can actually you know, copy and paste lyrics here. But we're going to do that right now. So. I'm going to cancel this, I'm going to open a new tab, and just really quickly, I'm going to search in Google. Okay, we're going to look for Still Hillsong Chords. And you can see here <coughs> different sources of chords. So a good one is Ultimate Guitar, that's pretty good. But one that's pretty consistent, I find is this one. Do you see this? Higherpraise.com. Okay, this tends to be a pretty decent site, not the best, but generally they have a good selection and generally their chords are right. So if we click this here, okay, here we are, Hillsong United and C, and these are guitar tabs, don't worry about these. But you want to find something that looks like this. Then you highlight it. and then you right click it on the selection, you click copy and then we're going to go back to the planning center I'm going to click edit lyrics and chords 
and over here we're going to right click and paste it. Okay, and there it is. So we've just copied and pasted chords from some site. I'm just going to change this a little, just make it more consistent. Chorus 1, um, verse 2, chorus 2. Now we're not quite done yet. Now this font here is called Courier. If we had pasted in something that was, say, Arial font or Helvetica font, then we would change it to Arial or Helvetica. If I, if I change this to Arial, then it appears like this. And it looks great, but the spacing is going to be messed up probably on the chords. Same thing if I put it to Times New Roman. The spacing is also messed up over here. So I'm going to put this on Courier because that was the originally the original font when I pasted it in. Font size, I'm going to make this about, uh, what, 14. The original key. Now, here, you just want to put in the key that this song is in. I know that this is the key of C, so I'm going to put it in C. Okay. And we're going to have it be one column. For some of the longer songs, you'll make it two columns. We're going to make this one one column. Now here's an option to enable a lyrics PDF. That's very helpful for PowerPoint people. So all they have to do is copy the lyrics instead of having to copy and paste the chords as well and then delete the chords after. So keep that checked. Okay, and when we're done, we click Accept. And Planning Center makes the chord chart. So here it is. You can see it right here. There's a lyric sheet under lyrics and chords, lyric sheet, and there's a chord chart in the key of C. Now, if I click this, it will download a chord sheet to my downloads folder. And it's in the PDF format, which means you can edit it, uh, but all the formatting is preserved. So if I go to my downloads folder, open this up, then I see this wonderful piece of sheet music here. So here we have it still in C, the verses, and, and Planning Center has done all this formatting for me. Anyway, let's go back to the Planning Center in Safari, or in our web browser. And uh, here's one really cool trick. Here it is in C, okay? But let's say we want it in the key of B flat. Let's say we want it even lower for the ladies. Then what you can do here is add a key. Click this add a key here. And we'll say that if we want it in B flat, which is uh, one key lower, then we hit B flat. Okay. And it's major, yes. Uh, and we'll call this uh, female key. Truthfully, C is already the female key, but just for, as an example. And we can click accept. Here we go. And Planning Center creates the chord chart in the key of B flat flawlessly and easily. So this is really useful for the future. Just to show you this, just to prove that it can really do this. <laughs> click this, um, and here it is, still B flat. If I double click it, you'll see here, all the chords are now here in B flat. So this is clearly a wonderful, wonderful feature. And as much as possible, I would actually recommend putting chords not just into this section where you attach uh, external chords, which I wrote, but where you actually copy and paste chords into the planning center system itself so that uh, it will save you much time in the future. Okay, and let's go back to plans now. And let's check out still. So now you have still, you have the lyrics, you have uh, the attachment that Richie made in the word format doc, and you have the the lyrics and the chords that um, that planning center made right here. So that is the end of the tutorial of how to add a song to the planning center database and to attach music to it. I hope it's been helpful, and I think you guys will do a great job. Cheers. Bye bye.